Hello everyone, and welcome to another uh, Stockfish vs Alpha Zero game. And uh, this match became so popular in the past week that uh, people, I'm, I'm pretty sure people want to see uh, Alpha play Stockfish more than they would enjoy a World Chess Championship match. And uh, so far I've done 6 videos, this is video number 7. Uh, I will probably do all 10 videos, uh, maybe one Alpha versus Stockfish game per day. Uh, but so far we've seen uh, 5 games where Alpha is white and only one game where Alpha is black. And in the games that Alpha Zero had the white pieces, Stockfish always defended with the Queen's Indian defense and uh, Alpha destroyed the Queen's Indian defense. And here we have a second game uh, where Alpha Zero plays with the black pieces and again uh, Stockfish goes for e4 and Alpha defends with the Berlin defense. So it's, uh, what is Alpha saying here? Is the Queen's Indian dead and is e4 in general a, a refuted opening, you know? Uh, I always say uh, uh, the Berlin defense was used to, to deprive Garry Kasparov of his world championship title uh, and uh, you know uh, he couldn't win a single game against the Berlin defense so maybe maybe there is something to it. Uh, even after Kasparov lost the world cha chess championship match against Kramnik uh, he was still for a long time by far the strongest player in the world but uh, the Berlin defense against E4 seems to be uh, all powerful. So let's see this game. Uh, Stockfish again opens with e4, e5, knight to f3, uh, knight to c6, bishop b5, the Ruy Lopez. Uh, we have knight to f6 now, the Berlin defense, d3, and the bishop to c5. Uh, Stockfish captures the knight, bishop captures, d captures, and here we have castles. Uh, knight to d7, and uh, to this point uh, the moves are exactly the same as in the previous game I shown uh, where Alpha had the black pieces, uh, but here instead of knight b to d2, uh, Stockfish goes for c3. Uh, we have castles by alpha, d4, bishop to d6 now, protecting the e5 pawn, uh, bishop to g5 with a tempo on the queen, queen e8, and rook to e1. And here we have f6. Uh, bishop to h4, uh, queen to f7 now, knight b to d2, and a5. Preparing perhaps an expansion on the queen side and also stopping white from expanding uh, himself uh, on the queen side. Uh, bishop to g3, uh, rook to e8, and queen to c2. Uh, knight to f8 now, c4, and c5. And uh, d5 was played. You don't want to capture here, there's really no point to this. You only uh, make alpha's dark square bishop come alive. So c4, d5, closing the center, and b6 now. Uh, knight to h4, now g6, stopping any knight f5 ideas in the future, and uh, maybe preparing to push f5. Uh, knight back, h back to f3, bishop to d7, rook a to d1, and as you can see, see it's a pretty close position. In the previous game where alpha defended with a Berlin defense, uh, Stockfish went for an early knight sacrifice. He, sac uh, he sacrificed uh, a knight for two central pawns and Stock uh, alpha uh, very quickly refuted this. But here it's, uh, it's equal material and uh, uh, it's a pretty close position where uh, Alpha has the bishop pair, but in such a close position the bishop pair isn't really useful. Here Alpha's bishop uh, on d6 is more like a pawn. Uh, rook to e6, <clears throat> we have h3 now, uh, queen to g7, uh, queen to c3, rook a to e8, a3, uh, h6, bishop to h4 now, and uh, here is uh, a couple of interesting maneuvers. Uh, Stockfish played uh, bishop to h4, stopping alpha from pushing f5, and alpha plays uh, rook to f7. Now Stockfish repeats bishop to g3, and alpha repeats uh, rook to e7. Uh, Stockfish repeats again rook to h4, uh, rook to f7 again by alpha, and uh, rook to, uh, bishop to g3 again by Stockfish, and if alpha plays uh, rook uh, f to e7 again, it's a draw by threefold repetition, so uh, here alpha refuses the draw, plays a4. Okay, king to h1, uh, and now rook f back to e7. So we have bishop to h4 again, rook to f7 again, uh, bishop to g3, rook to f7, rook uh, f to e7 again, uh, bishop to h4 again, and here again Stockfish is interested in a draw if alpha would repeat rook to f7, uh, but again for the second time alpha refuses the draw and plays g5. And this is what's interesting, is, is alpha simply refusing the draw or does it consider now after it repeated the move two times that for the third time maybe it learned that the that this next variation could lead to a win or uh, does it always have a draw in the pocket so to say and uh, simply tries to win the game. 
That's uh, very interesting. Bishop to g3 and now knight to g6, controlling f4 and h4. Uh, knight to f1, rook to f7 now, and knight to e3. Now Stockfish again guards f5. Uh, knight to e7, uh, and it's interesting here, for example. It's very hard to imagine how, how do you make progress with black here. Uh, again, look at this bishop on d6. It's, it's exactly like a pawn. Uh, but uh, here, uh, Alpha really, uh, really <laughs> uh, tries to revive this bishop, and it's uh, it's a work of art how, how Alpha does it. So knight to e7, uh, queen to d3. Now h5, uh, h4, uh, knight to c8. Now rook to e2, g4, uh, knight to d2, and here we have queen to h7. And uh, in the past six moves, what Alpha has done, uh, now the bishop has a path. Bishop to f8, to h6, and from h6 it will be a very powerful piece. So, you know, that's some, that's some maneuvering. Uh, king to g1, bishop to f8 now, knight to b1, knight to d6. Now getting this knight to a more active square, uh, pressuring d4 and uh, c4 and d4, uh, knight to c3, and now bishop to h6. And now instead of a dead bishop on d6, now alpha has this beautiful light square bishop and this beautiful dark square bishop slicing the position. Uh, rook to f1, uh, rook to a8, uh, perhaps perhaps uh, going defending this pawn so maybe the light square bishop can move now. Uh, king to h2, king to f8, uh, king to g1 back, queen to g6, uh, f4, and here we have g captures on f4 en passant. Rook captures on f3 and uh, bishop captures on e3. And th this is a very interesting uh, position. Uh, probably probably alpha doesn't want to allow knight to f5 uh, for, for Stockfish to play, but uh, it's interesting. Do you, do you give up the dark square bishop or, or don't you? So, okay, bishop captures on e3, rook captures on e3, and now king to e7. Uh, bishop to e1, queen to h7, rook to g3 and rook to g7. Now, uh, here alpha goes for a series of exchanges, rook to g7, king cap queen captures on g7, and rook to e3, preparing rook g3. Uh, rook g8, rook to g3, now exchanging another set of rooks, uh, queen to h8, uh, knight to b1, now rook captures, bishop captures, and queen to h6. Uh, knight to d2, bishop to g4, now this uh, from a position where alpha had that terrible bishop on d6 uh, now it has a, a beautiful bishop on g4 and uh, this dark square bishop that uh, stockfish has it's it's not uh, doing much it's pretty much uh, boxed in it's very hard for it to enter the position uh, it couldn't even if it tried even if uh, bishop e1 to d2 even if it gets to h6 uh, there's really nothing for it to do on h6 so king h2 uh, king d7 b3 now a captures on b3, knight captures on b3, and queen to g6. Again, preparing f5. Knight to d2, uh, bishop to d1 first, transferring the bishop to the queen side. Uh, knight to f3, bishop to a4 now. Uh, knight to d2, king e7, bishop to f2, and queen to g4. Uh, here, uh, queen to f3 was played, stockfish offers an exchange of queens, and uh, we have bishop to d1. Uh, now attacking the queen and uh, here stockfish captures it. queen captures bishop captures and in the end after 63 moves we have an end game uh, opposite colored bishops here and uh, each player I mean uh, both alpha and deep and uh, stockfish have a knight so the material is equal but uh, there is the weakness of this a3 pawn so stockfish decides to push a4 uh, with the idea of pushing a5, breaking up the pawn structure and then capturing on c5 with the bishop. Uh, but uh, alpha doesn't allow it, knight, knight to b7 is played. Now even if uh, Stockfish pushes, the knight will be protecting the c5 pawn. Uh, knight to b1 and we have a knight to a5 now attacking the c4 pawn. And uh, as you can see, it's it's always good to have a dark square bishop and place your own pawns and light squares, but now you... sorry. Uh, now you can't defend the pawns that are on light squares, and uh, it's interesting uh, how far did uh, Alpha look to see that this endgame was winning uh, for him or it. Uh, so bishop to e3, and it doesn't help to defend the pawn with knight to d2, simply bishop to e2, and again you're losing this pawn. So after knight a5, bishop to e3, uh, knight captures on c4, bishop to c1, uh, bishop to d7, and knight to c3 c6 now, 
uh, king to g1, c captures on d5, e captures on d5, and bishop to f5. Uh, king to f2, knight to d6, bishop to e3, and now knight to e4, check. Uh, here alpha forces an exchange of knights, this has to be accepted. Uh, knight captures, bishop captures, and here we have uh, an opposite colored bishop's endgame, where alpha is only a pawn up, but uh, this, will be, this will be sufficient. Uh, a5, we have b captures on a5, bishop captures on c5, uh, king to d7, now alpha has a free a passed pawn that is ready to stroll down the board, uh, d6, bishop to f5, uh, bishop to a3, king to c6, king e1, uh, king to d5, uh, king to d2, and king to e4. Uh, bishop to b2 now, uh, and it, it doesn't help. You can't really stop the king from approaching this pawn. Even if you play king g3, king to f3, and uh, there is no way to stop the king from approaching it. King e4, bishop to b2, now king f4, uh, bishop to c1, king g3, king e2, now king, uh, sorry, first a4. Uh, king f1, and now king captures on h4. King f2, now alpha is two pawns up, and this is this is plenty. Uh, king g4, bishop to a3, bishop to d7, uh, bishop to c1, and king to f5. Uh, we have king to e3, and now king to e6, and uh, in this position, uh, Stockfish resigned the game, because uh, there's really no point in continuing it. Uh, I, I will just show a, a variation uh, how simple it really is to, to end this game. For example, bishop to a3, uh, you have to protect the d6 pawn, and now simply h4, stopping white from pushing g3. King f3, now f5, g3, simply push h3. Uh, king f2, e4, uh, king g1, now e3, uh, bishop to c5, attacking the pawn, now simply e2, bishop b4. Uh, stopping the pawn from queening, and now simply a3, and the bishop cannot stop uh, both threats, as uh, if he captures one, the other one gets promoted. So yeah, uh, this is the game uh, of all the uh, of the ten. Uh, it's uh, it's a shame they only showed ten games played by Alpha Zero and uh, Stockfish. This is this is uh, this is game number two, but it's the seventh one I'm showing you. Uh, the second one where Alpha has uh, the black pieces, and it's very interesting. So always uh, when Alpha has white, they end up playing the Queen's Indian defense and uh, of all the games we've seen where Alpha has the black pieces, Stockfish off opens with e4 and Alpha plays the Berlin defense. So maybe maybe there is something to this uh, Berlin defense, maybe we, sh <laughs> we should all uh, learn from Alpha. So yeah, uh, that was the game, you all requested it, uh, I know it's a, it's a very popular match, so I mean I'm interested uh, in it as well. <clears throat> you don't really have to talk me into it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I would like to thank uh, uh, Stefan Dean, Stephen Dean uh, for a contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot. <clears throat> I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can check uh, two of my previous videos here. I will make both of them uh, Alpha Zero games. Also, you can check all of the games played by Alpha Zero and Stockfish uh, on a link in the description below. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you soon.